Oh, hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> it is our last day in Tangier, and it's bittersweet. Hi, Rhyme. Hey. How are you feeling today? Ready to wish Tangier goodbye? Oh, that's so sad. I cried. That's a grave. So every day we do the crossword together. It's usually more. What does Jungian mean? But today it's just us. Um, okay, so they specify that it's not English. So what? I'm really glad I'm here in Tangier. It feels so right. Lots of stairs. This is very steep. I'm sad. You're sad? Uh huh. This might be my last cinema reef olive ever. You know how much we spend time here eating olives. So much time here eating olives. What are we gonna do? I'm panic drinking wine. I know. Oh, now it's gone. No, it's gone. It's all gone. It's gone. So basically, I sent a riddle in a group chat, and got these are the real people that showed up. How'd you spend your last day in Tangier? I mean, in Group Bar. Tangier's on my mind. I went shopping for a lot of people in my family, and I bought a luggage because I'm totally gonna hit that weight limit. <laughs> Friends with Ella and Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I'm going to the final soccer game in Wedgda and almost dying and being arrested. Yeah. What? <laughs> run it back, run it back, run it back. I'm almost dying and being arrested. Oh my gosh, Ellie Zimmerman. Oh. That's me. I love how personal everything is. Like you really have to know your people to get around here. Everyone knows each other. Everyone knows which guy does what thing. Um, and I associate things with people. Not with the things if that makes any sense. Like there's Pokesman and Triangle Lady. And like these are the people that have kind of made my life here. Even though they don't know me. But my most favorite things is when running at night and I really want to stop running and then the sun is setting and it gets pretty and everybody stops doing everything they're doing and then it's an excuse to stop running because we're all gonna watch the sunset together. That's my favorite thing. Um, I think my favorite thing is probably gonna be um, ISPJ that I did. Um, it's very interesting. It's my first reporting experience and also um, hanging out and meeting um, new friends. Um, are also very fun. So yeah. I think what I'm going to miss most about Morocco is the people. I'm going to miss like the pace of life here. It's very much more like slow and chill and like at home it's always like ba 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 ba. So I'm going to miss the slow chill like tea time. Hello everybody. So it is Halloween. We have something very special. We have two Dan. Uh, Which one is Dan? I don't know. Oh my so god. Which one is Dan? What? I am going to miss um, overcooked vegetables. <laughs> Cats running rampant. Um, ocean views, most of all. And you. Aww. I'm gonna miss the sunsets and the ocean, the ocean here is really pretty, beautiful to watch, and I'm gonna miss the food, it's 
fire. Hi, Stella. Hi. Okay, so what are you gonna miss most about Morocco? I think I'm gonna miss the food vendors in the middle of most um, because they're very cheap and they're very good and you can get a lot of varieties and I really will miss India. I found my favorite fruit ever, <laughs> but I don't know where else I can get them, so I'll figure that out when I go back to the States. I'm gonna miss Triangle Lady and how much she doesn't give a shit about me. <laughs> And I'm gonna miss Donut Man and the very small amount that he gives a shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when we bought 10 donuts. <laughs> great memories with really great people and the experience that has made me grow. When I first got to Morocco in the summer, like the first two weeks I was here, I was like so scared and like. So nervous and like couldn't eat anything. It's nice to have like so nice to have people to like debrief with every day and be like, this weird thing happened and like did it happen to you too? And that's just like something I take for granted a lot. Um, I feel like it was really obvious that I had a hard time like starting out here, but I am grateful for like everyone that I met here. And we sad to leave, but I'm glad, I'm so glad I met you guys. It's like happy tears. I love you guys so much. I think that when I'm 100, when I look back on my life oh, wow. highlights, I think this will be one of them. And I'm going to miss you guys so much. I feel like this is one of the craziest shit I've ever decided to do. To come to Morocco and study abroad. And just do journalism. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. None of it relates to my previous, my, my life. <laughs> Mimi's <Morocco. laughs> face. Uh, yeah, all of you are very important and very special to me. Good to you all a lot. Morocco's crazy. Triangles are delicious. Mm. Papa's are delicious. Mm. Cheers to that. They're even more delicious with friends. I could not think of a better group of people to have done the semester with. I don't know if you guys heard, but this is my second time studying abroad. And, the and it won't be for last. It won't be last. But I do genuinely think that in both my experiences, the most valuable thing that I've gotten out of it is being like thrown into a weird new place with weird new people. and getting to learn that your first impressions are 100% always wrong and that people always turn out to, not always, but tend to turn out to be incredible and it's like been one of like the joys of my semester and like my life to like get to spend a bunch of time with you guys and learn that you're all, I mean I obviously I always thought you guys were incredible but it's really cool to like get tossed in with a bunch of new people and get to learn how cool they are and the weird ways they function and it's been like such an honor and I'm, I'm gonna look back on it really fondly so thank you guys. Oh, yes. vlog. <laughs> I just want to go and light. And I'm going to see you guys. I love you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that.